Greetings and welcome to a special edition of Curator's Corner, where we look at the new exhibit, Loyal Service, Working Dogs at War. These sculptures were hand carved by the artist Jim Mellick, and the exhibit is broken up into two sections. The first is symbolic and captures the type of wounds service members endured during battle. By nature, dogs are deeply connected to their owners, and the artist made these dogs to represent the pain and suffering of their human counterparts. The artist was impacted and inspired by seeing the flag-draped caskets of not only service members, but their dogs returning home. The next section captures the stories and likeness of real dogs who served in a variety of situations. Their story, along with their handlers, are highlighted in this exhibit and they are very powerful. For me, the story of Jajo and his companion Corporal Patrick Tuco is quite touching. Of all the sculptures, this one is very dynamic as it captures the exact moment of impact when both were struck by an IED. They survived, but were left with severe wounds that they carried with them for the rest of their lives. Jajo moved in with the Tuco family and passed away in 2019. In 1942, dogs began their official role in the United States military with the creation of the Army's K-9 Corps. Once known as war dogs, they served in all branches to scout, detect, and protect American troops. Today, over 1,600 military working dogs help keep our nation safe. This exhibit tells their story and how they have served both on and off the battlefield. I want to thank you for joining me for another episode of Curator's Corner, and this special exhibit will remain open until January 8th, so we hope to see you soon.